Washington, a federal grand jury has indicted Derek Chauvin and three other former Minneapolis police officers for civil rights charges over the death of George Floyd. The indictment, unsealed Friday, accuses Chauvin, 45, of violating Floyd's rights by pressing his left knee against Floyd's neck as he lied face down on the ground, handcuffed and not resisting. Chauvin pinned Floyd for more than nine minutes, as Floyd gasped, I can't breathe, and even after he became unconscious. Floyd's May 25, 2020 death, captured in a viral video, led to widespread calls for police reform and months of protests over police brutality against black Americans. Two other officers, J. Alexander Kung, 27, and Tu Thao, 35 who saw Chauvin pinning Floyd to the ground were charged for failing to intervene. All three, along with a fourth officer, Thomas Lane, 38, were charged for failing to provide medical aid to Floyd. We are encouraged by these charges and eager to see continued justice in this historic case that will impact black citizens and all Americans for generations to come, the attorneys for Floyd's family, Ben Crump, Antonio Romanucci and L. Chris Stewart, said in statement. Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison called the federal prosecution of the four offices entirely appropriate. The federal government has a responsibility to protect the civil rights of every American and to pursue justice to the fullest extent of federal law, Ellison said in a statement. The Justice Department's prosecution, which could add more years to the sentences the former offices may face, accuses them of violating a federal law that forbid government officials from abusing their authority. Chauvin has requested a new trial in the Minneapolis case, citing prosecutorial and jury misconduct, among other issues. Chauvin's attorney, Eric J. Nelson, asked a judge to impeach the verdict, saying the jury felt pressured and failed to follow instructions, although he did not elaborate on the allegations. The former officer faces 12 and a half years in prison under sentencing guidelines for a first-time offender. But prosecutors argue there are aggravating factors that warrant a longer prison term, meaning Chauvin could face 30 years in prison. Chauvin is also facing another federal indictment stemming from a 2017 confrontation with a 14-year-old. Court records say Chauvin violated the teen's rights by detaining him without justification. Chauvin grabbed the boy by the throat and struck him several times in the head with a flashlight. He also pinned his knee on the boy's neck and upper back even though the teen was handcuffed and not resisting according to the indictment that was also unsealed Friday. Floyd's family's attorneys said the additional charges against Chauvin showed a pattern of abusive behavior. The Justice Department is also